Evening all, and welcome back to Factory Town. So, we, in the last episode, managed to get all this wonderful system working here with our iron going. Our iron is backing up wonderfully. That's awesome. Uh, these are now struggling for fuel, but that's fine. I'm going to leave that for the moment. Um, yep, I think we'll, we'll leave the fuel for the moment. That's fine. Uh, how many... Um, we have 43 that means we have enough to now build another machine shop which is what we've been waiting for so if I put the machine shop um, I've put that in completely wrong right, well I'll put the machine shop in um, I suppose we'll face it that way just to keep it nope nope you know what I'm going to do I'm going to remove that and uh, we're going to move this around because I don't quite know what I was thinking there. Um, for some bizarre reason, I put the output at the bottom and the input at the top, which uh, doesn't really make any sense. If I'm entirely honest with you, do that. Why will you not input on there? Okay, right, well, we'll use the move tool and we'll clear off that belt there. That does mean that we're now going to have uh, cogs in the base over there because they're not needed for anything. Uh, I think uh, cogs are used for certain things, but whatever, getting ahead of myself. Anyway, um, let's build a machine shop. Pause this Put the machine shop in there. Um, the reason I did that is because the output can then actually be on this conveyor here, which makes sense. So, don't know why I did that. And uh, you need metal convey. You can make metal conveyors, which requires gears, iron plates, and cloth conveyor belts. Or well, iron plates can come in down there. Gears will come in from the barn, and cloth conveyor belts we aren't making, which we do need to make. Actually, that's cloth. What do we need to make cloth conveyor belts? Let me have a quick look here. Uh, a cloth conveyor. Actually requires a lot more than I expected. It requires a wooden wheel, stone brick, not quite sure why the cloth conveyor requires stone, but meh, whatever. Um, right, for now we are going to grab the cloth from the base. That's not a permanent solution, we will run out of cloth conveyors, but um. What I can do is here we have a lumber mill producing planks. So I could put a workshop here to produce wheels, and then the cloth could come along, go along into another workshop which will produce conveyor belts, and then the conveyor belts can go into that. Which would be awesome. That would work really, really well. Or we could go up there and back down. I think that's probably a better way. Um because uh, I would like the lumber to go into a barn. I think that's the way I want to do this. Yeah, lumber into a barn. And the barn... I'll unpause the game and we'll get going. We'll build the metal conveyor belts because the other thing as well is when I replace the cloth ones, they will return to the base and obviously metal ones will come out so it'll be good it'll be good um the ones we want to replace are um that awkward one down underneath there that i cannot see there is one down in there we need to replace that one um in fact i probably kind of want to redo this i'm thinking moving that grain mill mm. maybe maybe 
maybe not. Maybe the metal conveyors will be fine. We'll be good enough for this. Right. So we should have some on the go here somewhere. This there we are. We have metal conveyors. Awesome. Right. So let's upgrade our. I think we are no longer going to use cloth. We will completely switch over to metal. So we will eventually replace all of our normal conveyor belts with metal ones. Uh, right. You're getting plenty of grain, so I don't need to worry about changing that one under there just yet. You're the one that's struggling. So let us. Um, bump, 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 and bump. And you can already see that is a lot quicker. A lot, lot quicker. Awesome. Right. In fact, that is to the point where the barn is now starting to lose grain, which is absolutely fine because we can work around that. We can build, uh, change these conveyor, these uh, chutes into metal conveyor belts. I do believe chutes are faster than metal conveyor belts over a long distance, but this short way, I think the conveyor belts will do a better job. And I might just change it so that there's two at the top and not the bottom one and put in some farms down there. That would make sense. Um, I'm also thinking I might get rid of this because we're never going to put fertilizer on the farm. It doesn't need it. They're all growing naturally fast enough. And uh, if I do want to swap things around, I will put a farm out here on the water. We will build a little base, put the farm here so all the fields get watered automatically. Because um, that is kind of the only thing that I think this game needs is some form of irrigation. Like you could build a pipe, even if the pipe's above ground, so it gets in the way of things. Like a conveyor, but a pipe, and it just pumps water. That would, that would work, I think. Um, or a dedicated water cart. That might not be a bad idea. So, same as sort of a wagon, but is obviously a big barrel, and carries, say, 10 water. Goes down, fills up, comes back, can drop off at a farm, or whatever else needs it, but does 10 at a time. So, dedicated to water. I like the idea. That sounds good, but but um anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So that is now outputting into there a lot faster, and you can see that it's filling up now. So this is still gonna be we're not gonna have a gain of anything here, I don't believe. Um I'm also thinking I may stop this for a moment and move this around. Uh, there's no point to me storing flour in a barn. It doesn't seem like a good idea to do that. It just doesn't seem like it makes sense to have flour in a barn. Because we don't use the flour. And the barn's just a... Uh, although... There was nothing wrong with that at the moment. So I believe it as it is. And then maybe we'll remove that barn later. But I don't know. Um... Right now the grain mill just isn't getting enough grain in it, that's actually running low. Uh, this will back up at some point. So let's uh, upgrade uh, this one. Uh, there we go. And now that grain mill is going to get enough grain to overflow again that will fill up and this line will back up slightly so although this barn is running out now it probably is still high enough to keep things going but let's upgrade this anyway let's pause the game and upgrade this um in fact, let's turn off the workers let's just let that all empty out uh, see now if i was to turn that back on again this would actually flow fast enough to get everything going but they do eventually back up, which causes problems and things slow down. It's all a lot of problems in the end. Right, let's put down a farm tile. Five. And let's grab some grain, which you can't apparently copy. Uh, farming plant grain. Like that. Okay. So now we have all the grain growing. Awesome. We'll start with two. May go with three, but we'll start with two. And uh, put grabbers down there. I don't need to define what they are because this is only ever going to be a grain field. OK, 
Okay. And we upgrade to five. And you can see that it's outputting way faster than that's going on there. And uh, this is still going down at the moment. That is interesting. If I up that to six, what happens then? Let's go. We can't. Six is the highest we can go. We are full of population. That is still outputting fast enough to keep that going. Five, six, five, seven. Six. I think that's about level. Yep, that looks about level now. Um, obviously, things are going to change here because that is now full. That is now backed up. See, that line's not going as fast. This will back up, I believe, eventually. Um, and yeah, that is now having a gain, which is good, which is awesome. Okay, so we're getting a gain going on there. I could, of course, only have one grain mill here and just increase the workers in it instead, rather than having two. Um, just have one conveyor belt with a metal conveyor belt going all the way along. That could work if I need to change things up a little bit. I'm not going to right now. I kind of like the idea of having two grain mills. Um, it just it spreads the load a little bit. Um, and having the two conveyor belts just, just basically it you know, spreading the load a little bit just helps keep things a bit smoother. I think there. Right. So. Um, we need to upgrade. We can upgrade these houses back here, I suppose. People are kind of happy. They've got their remedies, got their potions, they've got clothing, and they've got grains. Don't have any protein, but I can fix that. Because uh, I do have a barn full of meat. So... That's a possibility. Um, obviously, they were having apples, but we're no longer having apples. I could do that as well. I could plant a farm full of apple trees. And we could add that into the mix. That's a tempting little project. What, what, does, what does apple and jam give me? Let's have a look, see here. Uh, apples give me gold coins. And jam gives me red coins. Um, we do actually have more red coins than we do gold. Um, that's probably because our forest is not working overtime. He's not using the red coins. So I think I still want to work on producing it. So we might have a look at jam. What do you need to make jam? Jam's in the kitchen, isn't it? So to make jam... You just require apple and fuel. You don't require sugar. Um, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure just melting down apples or cooking apples gives you um, doesn't give you jam. But hey, I'm I'm no expert. So yeah. Um, Let's do that. Let's build a farm out here on the water. Build an apple farm. Just to, to test it. See if it works. And then we will put in a bakery on the edge here. That's a kitchen. Yeah. Put in a kitchen on the edge here. And uh, that kitchen can produce jam. And then that can be delivered to the food market. Um, I could put it up here, obviously. Um... Yeah, I, I, there is something about building on the water that I'm not a big fan of. Something, I don't know, I don't know what it is, can't really explain it, just something I don't particularly want to do, I suppose. I think we'll put in a farm here, that's, that's what we'll do. Let's, let's have a look here. How big are farms? Farms are not very big at all. So we can put it in there. And then have a bakery over there.
Although, if I did put it on the water... That would mean that we could have the jam storage where we're going to put the train line. Because the train line is going to probably come down this coast. Go in, loop around. Um, and then come back again. I think I'm. I'm not sure about that one. I'm really. I'm. I'm still looking at this and thinking how it's going. So, sorry for the sight I'm, I'm. I was looking, trying to figure out. Have it come along here and pick up things here that we want. So we'd have to put the food down to here, uh, the cloth down to here, and the. Um, well, they're already on the on the on the coast, um, and then come up and come back in. I think that's probably the best. Way to just build a loop that goes up. Goes down, goes back in, and put everything on the coast. Have a train line on the coast. Doesn't look fantastic. I was going to have like everyone live on the coast, but that's not happened either. So, yeah. Um, I suppose building a farm wouldn't matter. Anyway, uh, we need people. That's what we need first and foremost. So let's upgrade all our houses here. Level three. There we are. Okay, we've now got 62 people spare. Awesome. Right. Um, that storage barn has gone. Okay. Uh, right. I'm going to get you. Empty that bomb. that barn is gone, goodbye, and then I'll get you to empty that barn. My other thing about uh, putting a farm down here is obviously the kitchen requires fuel, and fuel is currently our fertilizer, which isn't really working that well at the moment. It's working, but it's all over here. So if I did put a farm in, it'd be down here. Hose? Then I could put the kitchen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right. That farm can go. Okay. And uh, then you. You. And you. And I'll go down there. Okay, so we've only got one barn left of iron. Which is fine, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. You take 10 seconds to make a gear, you take 10 seconds to make a wheel. What? why this is so slow. I'm going to put an extra worker in there. And uh, speed that up a little bit because gears are becoming a bit of a problem for our conveyors. Not that I'm worried about it. Conveyors are doing okay for the minute. Uh, you are Take gears out of there, but we don't need any because we're fine with that. Um, we do have loads of herbs in the base. You could do that. Get the herbs out. Put them in the barn. That's going to be a very interesting job for you because obviously the farm is in the barn up way too quickly um right so let's have a look see here what our problems are our problems are um we're out of storage okay right there we go that's gonna Hopefully deal with that. Yep, there we go. That's going up a little bit. Right, um, because obviously our 
Level 3 pasture is eating up, well it's not eating up our animal feed, that's okay. Because uh, our wool is full up, we're backed up on wool completely. What is going on there? Um, but we're not getting any leather. Because you don't have enough input. Okay. Um... Um, um, so we need a way to increase this here. Yeah, th th this is this is a problem here. We are we are freeing up our our corn here, I suppose. Um, I'm a little confused as to how I'm going to fix this. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking a second farm probably going to be any idea and i might even completely gut this out and redo it is what i'm thinking um like move our farm production off somewhere else um we could put some farms in here or we've got this space over here as well uh stone i'm not that worried about um we are we are we'll, we'll run out of stone there in the end but stone's not a problem really um so I'm thinking we could cut out this area here, which is stone and trees and other bits and pieces. And um, we could put in some farms up there, like say three or four farms. Or well, put in two farms and just have it transport the goods over via conveyor belts or um, something like that. In fact, yes, we'll do that. We will do that. We will upgrade there, but we're gonna wait for rail to be done. Uh, we, what am I saying? What am I saying? We've got rail. We, we, we researched that already. That was already done. There it is. There's the rail depot. Um, okay. Okay, so what does the rail depot do? And um, let's put one down and let's see. Um, this makes rail ties. Rail ties are required for building everything, can't they? I, I still thought we was researching rails. Nah, idiot. Rail ties are... Rail tie? And uh, sorry, sorry. Rails are one rail tie, and a minecart is um. Oh, it doesn't require any rail ties. Okay. So to make a rail tie, you require two iron, two wood, two stone brick. Right, um, you can stop delivering to the base. Okay. Um, I don't want to put this here, though I could. I could put this here. There's no reason why not. Uh, but I do want to put it there because obviously I want to have my cloth belt creation in here but then I could have wood gears I don't know how that would bring up the cloth with the leather being in the way there as well I may I'm, I'm yeah I'm thinking um obviously I'll research to stop because the leather's only going that way but I'm gonna actually remove this yeah um, the research isn't a priority. It, it is, but it isn't all at the same time. Um, so I'm going to say you take leather and put it in the workshop. Okay, that's going to run on a manual um, thing. There, we'll put a little path there for him as well. There we go. So that will grab leather, which is going to struggle to grab leather because. Oh, hold on. Hold on. That's wrong. That is wrong. Let's put in a off down there. Let go on it. Yep. You should grab leather from the barn, which you can't do. And off that. Make it a single piece of leather in the barn. So grab it from the barn and put it into the workshop. Um, and that will basically mean that um, it's going to be very slow going for our research, but that's fine. Absolutely fine. Um, right. So take leather, put it in there. No, 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 no. Take leather, put in there, and then turn that back on. Okay. 
and then that cart could just go back and forth doing that sort of thing and uh, everyone will be happy with that that's absolutely fine um right so then we would have our lumber mill into a do i want to put it in a barn probably do might move that barn over one though and um then it goes barn to workshop workshop makes wooden wheels and then the wooden wheels goes into another workshop which is makes the cloth conveyor which requires cloth to get our metal conveyor belts going um, really well. Uh, I could obviously replace all of our normal conveyor belts with better ones and then that would give me another boost. But I do kind of want... Um, nothing else seemed like it's struggling to output things. It was just that grain mill that was struggling to do it. Um, yeah, everything else seems to be fine on cloth conveyor belts. And having a stack of cloth conveyor belts won't be a bad idea either. I suppose. Uh, but the question is, if I put this up going upwards, we're going to have a barn, workshop, workshop. That workshop requires cloth, which could, I suppose, go on another cart. And then that workshop would then output down to... Or it could output up to there, the conveyor belt. And then that conveyor belt would come down to that machine shop. Right, that's what we're going to do. Which means that we can put in uh, a rail depot, which I should not have removed. Oh, no, we can put in a rail depot. Put in a rail depot there. There we go. Right. Okay. And, uh,. I'm not going to connect it up just yet, so we're fine for that. Right, so you require wooden planks, which will be fine. Wooden planks will be just there. That's okay. They can come straight across. Stone brick, obviously, I will say grab from there. Yep, so that will work for that. They can start going again as well. We've got plenty of stone brick in the base as well. Um, and then all you require is wood and that. So, yeah. Okay. Um, and then we want to output you to a barn. I'm not sure we need that many rail ties. I particularly want to keep... A vast amount of them in. They do require a lot of resources to make, and I mean, you need you need them for building rails. So we will need a surplus to start with. Yeah, okay, we'll 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 do that. That's fine. Um, right, and uh, that's all good. Okay, so we're running out of iron. You run out of fuel. We need another way to get fuel here. Um, bear with me just a moment. I'm going to have a look, see. No, I can't really run a conveyor with fertilizer all the way over. We'll just put in a second wagon. That's what we'll do. So, okay. And we are using fertilizer for everything at the moment. Once we get mining done and we can get some coal um, on the mining system, then we will obviously switch these over to being coal powered, probably. That would make more sense. So, um, yeah. 
but for now I'm kind of just waiting for things to go so um, I am going to let this run for a little bit and we will be right back once our surplus of iron kicks in a little bit um, or more importantly once we've got some rail ties so I should probably do that, that. Yeah. and um, yeah I'll grab another you that but that'll be fine and um, yeah I'm just going to try and let our, our resources build up a little bit here and once we're full on rail ties we will uh, be right back and um, we'll have a look at doing a bit of uh, railway work okay so we are back and it's been a while um, it's been well I think I've left the game running for about two hours now but um we have 58 rails bikes that's it um uh, the biggest problem we're having is actually getting fuel into the forge that's the problem i did change this up a little bit here we've got one cart taking it from the barn to a silo and then the silo is going off there because they were getting stuck but the problem is that our barn's actually out of um fertilizer so these are not producing enough uh, well these aren't producing anything at the moment so we're just literally running off that one pasture which is a bit of a problem but um that's yeah that's gonna be okay that's gonna be okay we'll, we'll be fine for that and our forge i think is yeah our actual iron is obviously backing up a little bit here uh, i think that's still full yeah so but we do have some rail tires which means we can actually build some rail railway um, we need more than 50 because I can't run the line all the way along there and back in. But uh, I do need to do something here to actually get things going and working. So, realistically, we need to use our milk and our meat uh, to do something. Um, unfortunately, the meat is in the kitchen, isn't it? Um, yep, cooked beef, and that requires fuel, which is something don't really have right now um i mean i could switch to coal obviously we can make coal we can make coal so we can mine coal we have a little bit up here and we've got plenty of trees you can make tree you can you can cut down trees to make um wood to make love what am i trying to say here sorry uh, fuel can be wood, fertilizer, or coal. Coal is the best one. Fertilizer is the middle, and wood's pretty lame, but you can cut down trees and burn them. So, I think we're going to put a kitchen. Um, yeah. Yep, put a kitchen in there. And that's going to be on to making cooked beef. Okay, and then I'll put in a... We'll put in a barn. Put in a barn there. Uh, go down there, okie dokie, and uh, boom, grab it, and there we go, you are now grabbing cooked beef from there, we'll grab beef and that will make it cooked beef, we do need to get fuel into here and that's going to be difficult because obviously we don't have any, it's a bit of a problem, but there has to be a way we can kind of get it working i have also kind of messed up a little bit here with the height of these um i can't now bring in another run uh, you couldn't really do that anyway really you can only access on, on one side of the building you can only access it at two heights um because although you might be able to go down one more there but you, you can't put a wooden arch directly on top of another conveyor I don't believe I'm not sure that if I do that uh, no no see that doesn't that doesn't work uh, you've got to have at least a one gap between it so you can really only access a building at two locations on each side so I mean I could lower all these I'm not using that cut through um, I have actually added little one way things here you'll see I've got one there and I've got one under there and that was purely just because the carts were coming in and I noticed they were trying to go up and down this one lane here we've got rid of the little bridge here 
But um, I thought if I have them come down here and then when they're coming out, they come up here, it will flow better. But they always end up getting stuck down here. So that's why I added in this little silo system. And that's just going around in circles. That's not a problem. Um, you don't need fuel. You don't need fuel. You're the only one over here that would need fuel. So really... Don't need to have an actual fuel line coming across, I suppose. I could just do it with a cart. Another cart. But I do kind of want a fuel line going up there, but then that's going to run on coal, these ones, at some point. So, okay. We'll grab another wagon. And uh, we will say that you're going to grab... Uh, yeah, you can grab from... No, no, no. Well, so from there to there. I found that pausing the game when you're trying to set carts is a lot easier. Because um, if you do it whilst the game's running, sometimes it has that weird... You think you click it, you drag over here and it switches to something else as you're doing it. So, yeah. Uh, that does mean that that's not going to have enough in it. Because this just barn just does not have enough in it at the moment. Well, I don't really know where that one's going, but yeah. Um, and we, then we need another cart taking that over to the market, actually, so we can do things. But we can't do that. We've run out of workers. We do have a problem with workers here. So um, uh, I'm going to actually turn that down because that is going a bit nuts. That's producing one. That's going fine. And really slowly, but that's absolutely fine. Um, so now we can grab another cart, uh, wagon. Sorry, it's not all carts; they're called wagons. And y you see, if I'm, I'm I'm clicking that, I'm dragging it, and it works. But sometimes it drops it for some reason. I'm not sure. Might just be my mouse. I don't know. I don't know if any anyone else has that issue. But sometimes it just doesn't seem to to do it. Um, you can actually take from the barn. Isn't really helping because the barn is not having enough in it. Um, yeah, because you're actually not getting enough enough animal feed at all um yeah these are just not working quick enough i need to increase the workers in these but again we're running out of people uh to upgrade these does require cloth we could probably do that probably upgrade some more of these yeah let's do that let's upgrade through the cloth status oh, there we go and i am going to increase the workers in here the maximum we're allowed to do five. Bomb. There we go. Okay, and uh, you can go back up to five, or was it six? Five seems to run two conveyors at decent speed. Six. Six runs the third conveyor every now and then, by the looks of it. Maybe. You know, maybe not. Okay. Um, yeah, this is now dropping. Th this is where we need a second farm, where we need to get the farm going. We do have rails, and we can actually upgrade the base. Let's do that. Let's upgrade the base. Bomb. I don't know what that does. Um, didn't unlock anything new. It just adds more storage to the base, which I'm happy with. That's absolutely fine. Um, I'm going to grab a worker, copy you, you're a temporary worker, you're going to take out that and put it in there. Uh, oh, you're full. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah. Right. And then you can get fired, I'm afraid. Sorry. I'm just taking that one out of there. Uh, 
Ah, you see, now, because I told that cart to come down here, this has come to a complete standstill. It blocks up. Things go terribly wrong. So, uh, you have to come here for a moment. And uh, you're going to have to go there. I need a better solution for the fuel here because that is just not working right um i think unfortunately i am going to bring this episode to a close here um i'm actually recording this um uh, I, I normally try and get the episode out for 10 o'clock in the morning it's currently half past 11 so i'm late for this episode um so i'm going to bring this one to a close and get my day going and uh we'll come back tomorrow and I don't know quite what we're going to do. I'm really hoping the rail storage will get going a bit better. Which will be good. But um, I'll try and figure out a solution here for getting this uh, this working. I think I'm just going to switch you. This silo's empty already. Um, yeah, perhaps we need to switch this over to coal. I might do that. We might grab another harvester and uh, we'll set the coal up in the next episode, I think, for that. And then we can just switch the barn over to being fertilizer for the kitchens because... That's what you want with your food. You want it made with fertilizer. That must have such a wonderful aroma to it. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope to see you again next time. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>